Engineer 775 here. One of the questions I get a lot is, okay, if I do one of your solar water pumping systems um, and I install all this and spend all this money, can I use the solar for other things uh, when the tanks are full or when I have plenty of water? And that's what we're working on today. Um, adding some, adding a solar generator, a somewhat portable solar generator here. That's what you see here for the charge controller, combiner box, nice inverter, pure sine wave, 2000 watt, and a 24 volt battery bank. And we're running a booster pump off of that and I'll show you that now. But we're also running at the same time, this isn't a permanent installation. This is again, a test, a setup. We're running a Grunfoss um, SQ Flex solar pump at the same time that we're also running our solar generator. And we're trying to see if they'll, if they'll play nice together. And if not, then we have a series of breakers where we can run one or the other. So right now we're just experimenting. This is actually going to be for a customer. And uh, they wanted a battery backup system to be able to run off of these three solar panels. So the system was designed for the well pump. And so it was important that that goal was accomplished correctly. But then what can we do with that solar on days when the tank is full? Because this pump pumps fantastic, pumps a lot of water. So we do have some extra capacity that we're using to do a variety of things. So let me show you what, a, what a kind of things you can do. Obviously, this inverter is a 2,000 watt inverter. It can surge to, I think, three 24 volt uh, Samlex Pure Sine Wave inverter. And uh, let me show you some other things. Here's one of the little uh, Harbor Freight three-quarter horsepower um, booster pumps. I just have it hooked into my gravity-fed line from my tank up on the hill. And solar's, my other solar pump's filling that. So here, just an inline little booster pump. And they're great. They're cheap. Harbor Freight, uh, they might be up to 100 bucks now. It's got the little bladder. It's got your pressure switch. Everything you need to boost that water maybe you have a gravity fed system and there's not enough pressure that little guy will boost it up there let's go see so yes baxter find some shade so i'm just running this again i just wanted a constant load on the uh, inverter and solar generator system while we were testing so i'm just thought instead of wasting the power running a blow dryer or something dumb and then I just begin to water my garden. So I'm just running a little sprinkler. I know this is an efficient way to water, but um, this is testing day. I figure you might as well dump the water on the garden. Okay. So again, here's our portable solar generator. Obviously I don't have this covered up now, but it uh, does have ground fault protection, two sets of breakers, and uh, one to turn the batteries off want to bring the solar into the charge controller. So these three panels are doing a lot. We're pumping water like mad in our little test bed over here, and we're pumping water onto the garden just to run this inverter. Very impressed with the inverter. You have two duplex plug-ins, but you can also do a full, you can also do a full, uh, full power connection to, a, to another breaker panel. So you can manage this um, via breakers, there and then on our solar pole again this is a temporary setup you can manage the power here so i can turn off the uh char charging of the portable solar generator and just run the pump and that is one strategy that's where we're starting that you could pump water for half a day that would supply water for a week and then you have six and a half days of running your solar generator in a grid down scenario so a lot of different ways to manage the power here but it's pretty impressive for 395 watt solar panels what you can do if you just have some sun so okay i don't know what else to show you on this one right now but uh, we've put in all sorts of controls we got float switches here so i can toggle the float switch and it just shut the pump off which it's supposed to do it shows me gives me the indicator that just went off because the it's saying pump more water so our pump should fire back up here as it goes through its timing. It's got its cool little, it's pumping water now. You can hear it pumping water and showing you it's pumping water. So Grunfoss makes a nice little controller to go along with the, with the pump. Great pumps, awesome pumps, tremendous capability.
I think that's it for our little solar portable generator system to complement to basically it's an accessory to our solar water pumping station so just testing it out today making sure it all works before we go install it engineer 775 signing out